Introducing the AD4013TL. This model goes from anywhere from about 10 to 92 times the magnification. This model also comes in the plastic as well as the metal option of housing as well. And that's an aluminum metal housing. And the metal model features a obviously a metal housing. You have a metal focus dial as well and you have a reinforced uh, cord that comes out of your microscope as well. Now this is our AD model so it does have a removable cap and it will come with a open face cap as well as a closed face cap. Uh, now these are interchangeable you can take them on or off and all you would have to do is line up the little markers on the scope As you can see here, we're sitting at about 3 inches away, and in order to get different magnifications, you would just move the microscope higher or lower, and that will change the magnification as well as the field of view. So for example, right here we're at 55 times the magnification. If we want to move to 80 times the magnification, we'll just set it to 80 on the side of the microscope, and then we can move our microscope down from there, and when we get into focus, then we will know that we are at 80 times the magnification. And then if we wanted to get to 90 times, we would just move the dial and then readjust the height of the microscope. If we want to get a lower magnification, we would just move the microscope away from the object. And as we move the scope away, you can see here it lowers the magnification, increases the field of view, and we are sitting at about uh, 8 inches away, achieving 15 times magnification. This is our digital microscope, so it does interact with your computer via a 2.0 USB. Um, so there is a slight delay, not too much, but does refresh at about 30 frames per second. Now we can zoom out by moving the microscope a little bit further away from the object. And here we have the MS35B stand with a MSA2P extension pole added onto it. So once you have that addition, you can just move your microscope up as far as, as you would need to. So now that we've moved the microscope up, uh, we're at about eight times the magnification here, and you can see we're somewhere around a foot and a half away from the object. Since this is an L model, so it is a longer working distance model, we can use the 90 degree angle viewer. So we can just match up the indication uh, markers on the microscope as well as the as well as the uh, nozzle piece and then attach those two together and then focus on the mirror that is on the 90 degree angle viewer and then you can see anything that you have um, that you that you want to be looking at at a 90 degree angle the 90 degree angle viewer attachment does only work with the L series and as you can see here the 90 degree angle viewer comes very handy when you're looking at small parts on the PCB board or something like that is definitely not constricted to the PCB uh, computer world or technology world you can use it it's very popular in the dentist dentistry uh, field and industry as well changing the caps is a breeze with this you just line up the mar indication markers and then either press in or pull out of the microscope uh, we do suggest to use this microscope with a stand because the microscope does have to maintain a two and a half inch um, distance from the from the object. It does get a little shaky when you're using it handheld. So if you do have it in a stand, we do recommend that, and that is a little bit better to reduce the the uh, the shakiness and actually add some uh, rigidity to the 